Okay, so an update for the month of March. Now, this month was actually the best that I've ever had with my agency. We did, I'm just looking at my numbers here, we did a total of $8,229 in revenue, and that's NZ dollars, so that equals roughly, I think about 5K US. Um, on top of that, now keep in mind, that's revenue, so I wanna be really clear, we have a profit margin, looking at this now, of about 50%. We did have some really big expenses come in, but we made a profit of $4,000 this month, which once again, is our biggest month. Now, like I said, really, really, really good month for us this month, and there's a few things that really worked for us, and I'll quickly go through those. But some of the key points that I really wanted to highlight, I'm gonna be looking over at my board every now and then. I, this is just an unfiltered video, so I hope, you know, I hope you can still find value in it, but I'm not putting a whole lot of editing and everything like that, because ultimately, this is just a documentation of my journey when it comes to the email marketing agency that I run. If you wanna learn more about that, you can just go ahead and click the link to my website, um, which just got recently updated, which is another thing that we did in the month of March. Now, I'll quickly go through some points. I went to 14 different networking events this month, so that's just something that I do for in-person referrals. On top of that, I had 23 different in-person meetings, and the reason I'm looking over here is just because it's on my board, and those are just like 30-minute catch-ups, either over a coffee or over a Zoom call, and really all it is is just me networking, meeting other people. I genuinely do not care who they are. It's more just me meeting people in business, because more often than not, they might have a connection that can lead me somewhere that can actually, then I can actually fit in and help them with. And it's really just about me educating them about what I do and then them educating me about what they do. And hopefully me connecting them with people in my network and so on and so forth. Now, BNI, BNI, I really recommend you check that out because there's chapters all over the world, has been really good for me and they really kind of put a big emphasis on that networking, referrals, building up your own network and it gives us a lot of, I've actually generated uh, I've covered my cost for joining that, that membership program. Now, on top of that, I signed two new clients this month, which was awesome. But one of the things I really realized is I need to go away from these project-based works and actually have people on retainers, which is what the new clients that I've actually signed are on, which is great because it gives me a bit of predictability in the following months. Now, in coming into April, which is when this should be live, I, I'm looking at a lower revenue month just based on the retainers that I currently have compared to March. But I'm hoping to get new clients on board which will boost that number up. And as time goes on, the total amount of revenue that I have, that's like a baseline, the retainer revenue will just gradually increase while the project-based work will just kind of increase alongside that. I hope, I hope that makes sense. So yeah, loads of meetings. On top of that, I've started productizing the service that my agency offers. Now, when I say productization, it basically means I have one service for one type of client, right? And I create an avatar, which is somebody, an ideal client, right? And for me right now, it's people in the food and beverage space, either in New Zealand, Australia, or the US doing at least $20,000 a month in online store sales, $15,000 a month if you're in the US. And, <clears throat> pardon me, what I'm essentially doing is I'm uh, targeting just those people, right? And the reason I'm targeting just those people is because I've demonstrated good results for other clients in that niche. And on top of that, I just enjoy working with those types of stores more. And now what that allows me to do is create a system, a product size service offering that I can consistently implement from client to client to client. And it allows me to create a really streamlined business model that I can implement at scale to anybody who comes on board. And what that essentially sets me up to do is down the road, if I wanna step away from the operation side of my business and just do sales or focus on a different business venture, I have my systems set up that'll allow me to really just plug people into them and they work for me automatically. So I've been productizing my service offering and it's, uh, I'll go into that a bit later. When it comes to email marketing, it's a bit different to every other industry, but my service offering is now a four month program and I'll make a separate video about that. Uh, but yeah, we do product, we've productized our service offering. Um, on top of that, I learned that my funnel really needs to be full on a consistent basis, right? What happened for, to me, February, I don't know if you saw the previous February update, it sucked, right? It was terrible. I made a loss of about $3,000, and this month I made you know, a profit of $4,000. I'd also like to say that profit of $4,000 might sound amazing, but I gotta pay for my food, my groceries, my rent, 
all that stuff has to go into that as well. And I've got a car payment that's just come up, right? And that's another $1,000. So $4,000 profit sounds amazing, but this is all I'm doing right now. And the reality is, I mean, it's small business vibes, right? This is kind of where it is, but uh, it's really, I'm not making that much money, but I'm setting in the foundations. Also, I'm wearing a tank top because I've been hitting the gym. Anyway, unrelated. But um, basically, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not a whole lot of money. But what I've also been learning is that my funnel needs to be full. Before I go any further, I'd really like to apologize for that gym outburst. Um, yeah, that was unnecessary. Anyway, basically, this is normally where I'd cut, but I'm not doing any edits. Uh, but the funnel always needs to be full. So every single month, your funnel, at least in my case, it needs to be so full that if everybody in that pipeline, for example, everyone who you sent proposals out to, that's your sales funnel, if they all said yes, you'd be fucked, right? But in reality, not all of them are going to say yes anyway, so you're totally fine. But I, I want it to be filled to capacity, if not over capacity, and then odds are 20% of them will actually convert into leads, or sales rather, and then just that filtering down just ensures that I have a consistent stream of business. Now, on top of that, my Fiverr strategy, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I made a video about that, how I generate leads through Fiverr. That has worked out really well. I generated an extra $1,000 a month for my Fiverr lead strategy, and I've potentially got another client lined up for the month uh, next month, and then, and this is US dollars, uh, which will be about $1,000 a month, and then I have another client who's going to revisit me in about three months, hopefully. I mean, people say they're going to come back in a month or whatever, but, you know, you never know, right? One thing I've learned is a client is not a client until they've paid their invoice, right? So that's just one big lesson I've learned in business. I'm going to start outsourcing my lead gen. So for those who have been following along with my channel, I do a lot of cold video outreach where I record a lot of videos breaking down people's newsletters. That takes a lot of time. I'm actually going to start outsourcing that process to somebody else. A bit expensive to do. It's a big investment. And this is another thing, right? This will be like a $3,800 investment. Um, and I'll run through the lead gen process that he's going to be using. But, you know, that's all my profit for, for you know, the month of March. So it gets, you know, you start, it, like I've said, I said this before, everyone thinks that like starting an SMA agency is like really easy and you can do it with no money. But to really crank things properly and have a proper business model you got to put the money into it. It just speeds up the process, and that's kind of what I'm noticing right now. Now, finally, um, on top of that, I need to get better at my forecasting. I keep saying on top of that, but finally, uh, my forecasting needs to get a bit more accurate. To be honest, though, looking at my forecasting here in front of me for March, I thought I'd make uh, $7,500 in revenue, um, and I was actually highballing it, and I you know, made just over that, so I think my forecasting is pretty much on point. Um, but my expenses are contractors, subcontractors, subscription fees, and the big expense was actually getting my website redone. And if you want to see that, go ahead and check that out. Now, things that I'm doing in April, I'm pretty much just consistently doing my cold email outreach. I'm going to bring on the cold email uh, lead gen guy on board. I'll pay him that money. Thank Yay, I love paying people money. And then I'm going to actually build out my own sales funnel for email marketing. You know, it's a classic example. I don't have one and I'm an email marketer. I'm going to build out a 52 week uh, email sales funnel where people can sign up to my weekly newsletter. And basically, I'm just going to be providing value. I'm not going to do anything sales related. I'm just going to be providing consistent, consistent, consistent value. On top of that, one thing I'd love to say, one thing I learned this rather has been really useful for me is somebody saying, we do not sell knowledge, we sell implementation. And what does that actually mean? So basically from an agency space, I just want to be selling implementation of my knowledge. I'll give all my knowledge away for free, right? I can give all my knowledge about email marketing to somebody for free, happy to do that. But implementing those strategies and stuff like that, that's where I uh, charge for. So that's something I think you guys should probably look at as well is, yeah, give away as much as you possibly can when it comes to knowledge and then people will pay you to implement that stuff. And more often than not, that's just how it goes, right? They'll say, oh my God, you're giving so much value. Let me try it. God, it takes so much time. I'll just hire you to do it. And that's how it goes. Anyway, guys, I hope that was useful. March was a great month for me. Really, really happy. Hopefully, it's just going to ramp up from here. Um, and we'll see how things go. But yeah, like I said, guys, any questions, shoot me a message. Once again, I want to be very clear. I make these videos not from an expert's perspective, but just to document my own journey. And hopefully, you can learn some things from some of the stuff that I'm learning as well. I want this YouTube channel to really be... Uh, and I know I, I make other videos that seem very authoritative in terms of where I'm coming from, but I really want this video to be a learning thing where we're both learning things alongside each other. 
and hopefully that's kind of what it is. If not, please let me know. I'm keen to hear your feedback. Check a comment in there and subscribe because that really helps the channel. We're slowly growing. Um, I'm addicted to checking the analytics. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Link up with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, and check out my website. Cheers. Bye.